Behold, it is done. What's up guys, what's up, what's up? So check this out, I got a cool surprise. I finished my test bench. Yeah, we're gonna call it a test bench. It is awesome, it has LEDs, it has two computers. It is awesome, multi-be serviced to the coolness. You guys are gonna like it, and let me go show you guys where it's at. Come on, let's go this way. Behold, it is done. It is done. I am so happy with the outcome of it. It looks phenomenal, I'm super stoked. There's LEDs underneath here, and then there's LEDs underneath there. You can um, put your parts down here, like how I did. You know, I got a couple parts sitting down here, which is really cool, right? So, the idea of this. Okay, next, over here, depending on what type of connection you need, you just hook it up, boom, boom, all right? Then there's a power plug. You run that, plug it in. Also, mouse and keyboard, plug it in, boom, boom. Down here, I have it to where I have a Phillips and a flathead because you need both, you know, because there's usually a Phillips or a flathead screw that's required to work on a computer. So, you use your, you got it all hooked up, you use your screwdriver to get the case off, boom. Pop the case off, right? Let's say that inside of it, okay, because this is a customer's computer and they usually never clean it, it's super dirty. Well, over here, I've installed a one gallon shop vac, all right? And what you do is you go over and you flip it on and then you vacuum out the dust, right? You suck it all out, you know, suck it all out. And then once you're done, you just turn it off, put it back in its holster and you're good. Over here is the keyboard and mouse. And then we have the monitor set up back there. Now the cool thing is, is that we actually have two systems working here. Up here will be the secondary system. This is going to be used for putting new OS's on them, wiping hard drives, checking sectors, doing different types of tasking that I need to do. So I can hook up the hard drive to the other computer, find out what's going on with it, and continue on. Now, this is cool. This is a cool feature. This is a lamp, right? Check it out. It has a touch on it, boink. So that way, you can see what you're doing. And if you need to, it is adjustable. It'll move around and come in and out and whatever you want to do with it. And then if you don't want it no more, you just tap it and you put it away like that. Isn't that pretty cool? Uh, the whole idea behind it was is basically a service station. I wanted to be able to service a computer quickly and easily and get the job done because hooking them all up out of pulling all the cords out of my computer and then plugging it into their computer and then moving my mouse and keyboard around, it was just too much. I do way too much computer work to not need something like this. Here's a cool little feature underneath here. I added a radio so that way if you want to listen to the radio you can uh, I built a little shelf for it and everything and it's it's pretty cool uh, let me just take the clip and you can reclip it back together you can unclip it and then reclip it and it holds the monitor in position all right moving around to the back side of it I try to cable manage it the best I could but you know it is what it is I'm not really worried about looks uh, I installed some LED lights running all the way around the frame, especially in this area, to try to just kind of light up to see what I need because a lot of times I'll have to come back here and grab a cable or grab this or do this or do that or whatever. Um, same thing for the power supply. If I need to switch power supplies, I just unbutton it, uh, unbutton the power supply, and then I can pull it off of its shelf and if I need another one or a different one you just put the power supply in
buckle its belt on and then pull it tight so that way it doesn't go anywhere it will be secured the whole time um, same with the other system you can put a graphics card here uh, let's say we're testing graphics cards so the graphics card would go here and plug in here and then we can use our video to hook it up to it and however we wish to run it so it's a, a nice little cart feature it is on wheels so the whole thing can roll around and this is what I built it probably cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of now you gotta mind remember something I've had a lot of these parts the only thing that I bought was the lamp new I bought the CPU cooler and the LED lights and the velc or not the velcro the the tef the nylon um, straps I bought those had to get those to go uh, here's kind of like an undershot of it and then you have LEDs underneath there also there's more shelving down here this right here is mainly just to keep the cage being secured and it does come out so what I had to do is I had to put some uh, some nuts and bolts and bolt it all the way around and keep it all together but this is the final project uh, do you guys like it if you do give me a thumbs up if you guys like what I just built let me uh, let me turn some lights on and stuff and we can get a better look at it what do y'all say I'd like to get another one of these two of them but I, I don't know where I can find another one of these carts at the actual cart itself uh, was some kind of whiteboard thing for a classroom and I took it out and put all this stuff into it even this right here this piece right here this is all second rigging that I built into it and used bolts and stuff to hold it in place one of the cool features about this thing is that these there's a bunch of these you can use these for anything they fit right there so you can put something there or if you need something to go here you can do it here I have a whole bunch of these um, same with over here it can go right there it can go right there and then you can put your headphones here or whatever you wish to do same with down here if you're doing something and you want to hold something in place they also fit down here like that and when you got a whole bucket of them you can just line them up and you do whatever you want it to do same with the bars underneath here these right here that hold the computer in place they are also removable as you can see they run right here um, they just pop out like that so if you need to work in here or do something you can if you're working on a smaller computer you can do it if you need more room on this side this one will come up and then you can switch it around they were sprayed with a rubber coating to give them some uh, texture and to give them some grip so that way the cases wouldn't slide so easily and yeah so that's how it works guys you set the computer there you hook it up you diagnose it if it needs something done to it you hook it to the second machine figure it out you can clean it out with the vacuum access to parts down there keyboard mouse and a light so what y'all think you guys like it give me a thumbs up y'all i got so many awesome projects coming down the line we're going to do a computer build and let me tell y'all what it ain't like any type of computer i've ever built it's going to be insane crazy insane and let me show y'all what we're going to build it out of real quick i'll give you a sneak peek this thing check this sucker out isn't this thing cool look all of these things slide in and out of it right and it's hollow inside i'm going to cut it in half and we're going to lay it on its side so that way it's like a it'll still be a four-sided figure but it'll be a it'll be very weird we're gonna build it on a tripod on like a stand it's gonna have glass and LED lights um, it's gonna be water cooled I mean it's it's gonna be so cool um, and then to go with that cool thing I just showed you we're gonna use this glass dome isn't this thing awesome check this sucker out it was hold on let me get underneath it it was originally a chandelier right 
but I thought, man, this thing would be cool for a dome. You can put a computer in there and put fans and have water cooling stuff going everywhere. And I mean, it would just look awesome. So I cleaned it up and here it sits as it waits. And you know, you guys know the studio. Unfortunately, my studio is falling apart because I haven't been in here in a while. I've been doing stuff. Um, I need to know, guys, yay or nay on taking apart this computer for the parts. I'm thinking about taking it apart and putting it into a different machine, using it on that build. What do y'all think? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Let me know. One of the cool features about this whole entire thing is that everything is set up on one switch. So once you're done with the computers and you're done with everything, all you need to do is reach down in here and flip that switch and it shuts the entire system down. And then you can head to the door. Isn't that cool? Same thing if you want to turn it on. You just flip it, boink, everything comes back on. Except for that system. You have to, of course, restart that one, but that's a different day. I just really needed to get this project done. This was what really needed to be get done, so. Yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. Make sure to tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. We're on Facebook, we're on Patreon, we're on Tumblr, we're on BitTube. You know, we're all over the place. Facebook, join our group, check out our business page. Thank you so much for watching guys. Y'all be cool and I really appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Ciao.